what happened? The Grand Coalition lost 12, 13, 14 points uh, compared to the last election. What happened basically is almost everybody assumed that Merkel would win. And after the last TV duel, which the two had, Merkel and her challenger, many people really thought Schulz wouldn't be chancellor. Hence, because Merkel was supposed to win anyway, a lot of voters felt it was safe to cast a protest vote for the fringes. And those who sought an alternative to Merkel didn't go from her to the SPD, but went straight to the other parties, such as the fringes and the liberal FDP. If we, however, look at it slightly differently, if you take the parties that are politically close, especially in economic matters, the conservative CDU, CSU, Merkel, and the liberal FDP, together they actually just lost 2.5 percentage points, which isn't all that much. So while it looks bad for Merkel and the SPD. For the overall conservative liberal camp, it wasn't such ba a bad thing. How much of a problem is it that the AFD now moves into the Bundestag with a better than expected showing in the election? It is a problem. It breaks a taboo for Germany for the first time since the early 50s. We have a fairly radical right-wing party here in the parliament. That party will make a lot of noise. However, judging by how they're doing in state parliaments, they will probably expose themselves as fairly phony. My guess is that yesterday's protest vote, that after years of grand coalition you go for the fringes, that that actually marks the peak of electoral appeal for this right-wing AFD. They have slogans, but they don't have policies.